Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. Recently we have made a detailed video on Donier Do228 covering all its aspects, technical specifications, application for military and civil purpose and export orders. If you have missed to watch the video, the link can be found in the description section. There we have also explained how Donier Do228 and in future SARS-2 will be a game changer aircraft for the regional connectivity with our beautiful northeastern states. Donier is an essential element of Uran, Ude Deska Hernagik scheme that central government is attempting to put in place for regional connectivity. The aircraft is well suited for the operations in northeast region because it has capabilities of short takeoff and landing and takeoff from semi prepared runways. The 17 seater non pressurized Donier 228 comes with an AC cabin capable of day and night operations. HAL has signed a lease agreement with Alliance Air for supply of two civil Do228 for regional operation in Arunachal Pradesh back in September 2021. It is the best aircraft for not just Arunachal Pradesh but for entire Northeast and can even bring Tripura's Kamalpur and Kalashpur in the aviation map once again. If we talk about recent development, HAL has delivered first Donier Do228 to Alliance Air on 8th of April. Alliance Air is a division of Air India. It was formerly known as Air India Regional. The airline will initiate the flying from Dibrugar to Pasighat. In next 15 to 20 days, it will fly from Tezu and then to Zairo. This is the first phase and in the second phase, it will connect Vijayanagar, Mechuka and other places. Today, the Donier Do228 is going for its maiden commercial flight in India between Dibrugarh to Pasighat route. HL has been manufacturing the 17 seater Donier since 1983 under transfer of technology from Germany. More than 150 military Donier aircraft have been produced and supplied to various customers. Two civilian Donier aircraft has also been produced by HL. The research and development efforts for an indigenous civil transport aircraft has been initiated by HL to develop a prototype Hindustan 22 aircraft based on Donier Do228 platform. HL has also signed two memorandum of understanding with foreign companies for the exploration of possible cooperation with no financial commitment regarding the development of an amphibian variant of Hindustan 228 aircraft. HL's Transport Aircraft Division TAD at Kanpur was identified as production agency for Donier Do228 in 1983 for development of Hindustan 22 prototype and indigenization of various system. HL has allocated 94.41 crore rupees from its internal resources. HL is also working on an amphibian variant of Hindustan 22 aircraft. It has also collaborated with Zero Avia to develop hydrogen powertrain for Donier 228 to make it zero emission aircraft. HL and Zero Avia will develop a supplemental type certificate to incorporate a 600 kilowatt hydrogen electric powered system into Donier 228. The aircraft will use Zero Avia ZA600, the first commercial type powertrain platform capable of producing power of 600 kilowatt without emission and flying up to a distance of 500 nautical miles. HL will also offer retrofits to existing Donier 22 aircraft and line fit for the new manufactured ones. Talking about the export orders, HL had received interest from Philippines Coast Guard for procurement of 7 ALH and 8 Donier aircraft to Government of India line of credit. HL has also offered Do 228 to US Navy in July 2020 in response to their global RFI for multi-engine trainer aircraft program. Discussions with Morris' side is also in progress for supply of one passenger variant of Donier under the Government of India line of credit. HL has also completed the price reasonability study of Donier maritime aircraft for export to Maldives and Sri Lanka in March 2021. New Delhi and Colombo are discussing a proposal for supply of two Doni aircraft for the Sri Lankan military and recently one of them was delivered to Sri Lanka. HAL is also working on co-validation of civil certification of HL Civil Do 228 by Civil Aviation Authority of Nepal. With Chinese aircraft grounded in Nepal due to various technical issues, the Donia Do 228 has a good potential even for Nepal's civil aviation. 
This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and jai hind friends. Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. We'll be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector.